Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. We're going to be doing some pro gameplay. So um, today, well, okay. Yesterday and today I had the pleasure of playing in Code Magic's tournament. Uh, it's for 5,000 euros. So unfortunately we did lose in the semifinals. Um, I think Bobby's going to cover those games. So just don't judge me for that one, bravo. <laughs> Misplay on Spike, but um, Curse can receive this pass. It's sun now. Oh my you know, I think it was it was a fun tournament, and I wasn't really like locked locked in. I guess I haven't slept like the past like three days too well, um, and I was just driving like all day and all day yesterday. But um, you know, I was happy for the opportunity to play in the tournament and all that. And uh, so we did make it to the semifinals and lose to Code Magic Purple. So we would play the best of th um, best of five, best of three against code magic black so we're gonna be covering those games and uh so i think they did have delay i'm pretty sure they had delay to this one because with it's eu versus na right so it's kind of a toss-up um so we didn't have it too bad honestly against them so I'm, I'm pretty sure they had it um anyways guys let's get into the games okay guys game number one so um the bands for this mode where sprout sprout was auto banned for all of the finals uh semi not semis um that's to, for third place and for the finals so sprout's banned uh poco's banned and then we banned mr p uh we banned mr p just so bobby could play gene more safe obviously those like penguins are just very annoying so bobby's gonna get a good pull there and just um take out those walls those walls are really important for Bo because without it gene can just kind of like pinch him down or poke him down sorry and you can see me and alec are both doing a really good job on our lanes i really like spike lane um specifically on left side right side it's kind of iffy if you have curveball you can manage uh but otherwise it's I mean, I know I make it look easy, but uh, hitting the spike RNGs, they're like pretty easy to dodge a lot of the time. So I have really good matchups this game. Uh, Bo can do decent into me, but you know, I can like poke and trade pretty well with Pam, especially when she's trying to be aggro on my side. So they did do the right play by switching sides. Now Carl is also pretty decent with Pam, so I think we definitely have a better comp here on this map. Um, Bobby's going to get a really good pull, and then that is pretty much going to secure us the dub, as long as we don't kill us. But Alex going to get taken up by the mines, actually. Bobby has to pick him up. I'm just going to super so Bobby can uh, just safely run away, and we'll just pinch and take him out there. So, um, me and Bobby both have to stay alive, but I can just, I don't want us to get pinched back. They don't really have much threat, but there's also not much threat to be dying. I also have fertilizer on, so we're just making sure we can secure our dub safely, and we're going to, like, take a very convincing game point. Alright guys, game number two. Now they are gonna change up their comp completely. So we also changed uh, Sandy for Carl. I think if we stuck with Carl, it would have gone a lot better. Carl does pretty good in this sort of Terra matchup. Um, Alex doing a good job though, right off the bat. Now Sandy, there's something about Sandy. I think it's, I don't know what it is exactly. I think it might be the extra HP, but Sandy into Spike's honestly not that bad. Um, so I'm just gonna like go up there and unfortunately the Tara, I guess they're in VC with each other and um, Equawk asked for a tower vision, so it was really good synchronized because I 100% would have won that if they didn't have the vision. I was being sneaked and I got caught out because of the tower vision, and it's gonna really hurt my lane a little bit. So I'm poking him down, but he's out of my like vision, so I don't know like what HP he's at. So I'm just gonna super and get him low, and hopefully, me and Bobby can take him out here. Um, he's gonna do a good job dodging, and instead of just, I know they're gonna get pinched already, so I decide to just go up and try doing some pinching by myself. Now, I don't know where the tower is, so I'm just gonna grab these gems and get out because I don't want us to go down too, too much. So I'm gonna do a pretty decent job um, of just, you know, grabbing the gems, staying alive. Bobby's gonna hit a nice pull there on Equawk, and Alec is gonna have such a tough time now uh, because the tower can honestly just keep chaining that. Um, if he had Carl, he could keep his distance a little better. So what I really want to do is win my lane so I can just go poke that uh, bow thing down. Otherwise, you can you can see Alex's side. He almost wins that if Bobby was there to help him out. But Bobby was uh, being cautious and staying on my side too, helping me out. Um, but we do manage to take out the bow turret. And you can see Alex just gets solo pulled again. It's really rough when it gets to this point of the game. And it's not Alex's fault. It's just the matchup. It's tough. Uh, I gotta back off here because we are getting pinched by everyone and we get triple pulled. So Casey played this really well. I think, I think that's Casey. I don't know. His name's kind of confusing. I think it's Casey though, um, but he played it really solid and I think if we stuck with Carl, it would have been really good. So I just avoid I don't want to get triple pulled again. <laughs> I do get pulled, but I don't get triple pulled. So we're gonna lose the second game. It's gonna be one to one in the jump grab set. 
All right, guys, game number three. Um, so whoever wins this one does win the set. So Spike's been doing really good, but there was a few times that match um, where the Sandy was just like one shot or I couldn't keep track. So I'm going curveball. I don't really like curveball, but I didn't get any value out of fertilizer last game realistically. And this way, like it's a really grassy map. So Bobby's going to misplay that pretty hard and uh, he will go down. Equok's doing really good though, just dodging and just staying alive. So we're in a rough spot right now. I can't go back uh, both my like it's kind of went down um but to be fair honestly to alec he's doing a really good job because uh he does have the hard side here so i'm gonna actually catch out their bow and bobby's gonna get a really good pull there fortunately equok does get a shot off on both of us so it's gonna bring him one step closer to a super and they have a really like you can see like how good i've been doing a, a job just kind of keeping track of them uh, but when Max supers, it goes really well with the Sandy super. Bobby's gonna try blind pulling. He thinks they're going for the gem, which they were. Uh, but unfortunately, he just misses by like a few tiles. Um, and I'm just hanging out, trying to get that like bow turret down. So I do connect with it there. Um, but it is getting like kind of to the point of the game where a few gems just like end up in the mid. Um, you know, they can max super to it or sandy super just like this and then catch us out So I do get caught out there because the max like I said it synergizes really well with sandy Bobby's gonna go up and win the auto aim battle Some uh, top dodge probably BS gameplay there So sandy does get his super out though, and I decided to just tank it and just try going up if you guys hear a noise It's my cat trying to break in um, It'll get in a sec but you know they are gonna get it and this is what i was talking about so i gotta be really careful they don't get that gem but i think they could have gone for it honestly they get a really good gem spawn but alex gonna have to super to that and uh i think bobby's gonna miss his pull again unfortunately that's gonna be really damaging for us um and i go down alec goes down too it's looking very grim um but here like i just i see the gem and the sandy super i'm like why would they throw the sandy super uh, there so he went back in I don't know if he thought we could tie maybe we could have it would have been really close but I don't I think that's a very risky play and um, you know he tried just dodging so like just waiting it out a little bit but I kind of like I could just spam that um, so we're actually gonna get the dub and I think they kind of threw that one but uh, it was a really good game all right guys so the second map is triple dribble uh for this tournament it was only five maps so double swoosh triple dribble canal grande hit stuff and also uh olive branch so i kind of i'm pretty sick of these maps honestly but uh it was a it was a fun tournament nothing nothing against the tournament so i'm gonna be on daryl and for the map uh it was poco and what was it poco sprout and something else man we're gonna do a really good job and um we kind of like thought that because they banned poco we could still play tanks and win um so i've been playing spike here every time and i'm gonna get a really good roll there too in case he's gonna gadget and i try trick shotting here um oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was rough i could have scored on it mm, i don't know i could have killed the barley at least but um you know it's I'm sure you guys will see the gameplay from Bobby. Bobby's gonna get some really good bubbles there, but you can also see my trick shot goal on uh, ourselves against the other good magic. And we're gonna take the first game pretty fast. Okay guys, so Momo is gonna be helping us with the Brawl Ball set apparently. Maybe even the next set if you guys are lucky too. Um, and we're gonna stick with the same comp just because tanks are so good. Um, so they went something like a little more anti-tank with the Rico, which I like that pick. I think it's a really good pick here. And we are gonna pinch Equok and he did use both his gadgets, but he's gonna score. Um, so I think that's worth, even though it did get them a goal, but he's out of gadgets right now, which is really going to hinder him against, especially our comp, just because we have double tank. Alex going to get full, but that was a really good super that can see. Uh, Bobby is going to take him out, and I'm yelling to Bobby if he can make the ball. So I'm trying to regen, so I'm dodging uh, the Sandy super, but um, we're going to do a really good job and just score there as well. And now it's going to be 1-1. I get pulled, so I think I just like auto him to see if like, anything can happen. <laughs> like, this is definitely not one of my best tournaments um i'll be straight up about it i was playing at like a hotel yesterday and then like i'm just very tired but my teammates and i like i'm really enjoying playing with my team honestly so they've been like super chill about it um so i know as long as we get ready for esl and stuff we'll be good 
so now um, I just want to look over if I can pinch them. I know Gene doesn't have any gadgets, so I'm just going to go in there. I try shielding uh, for Alex, and I get there a little late, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to score, and I'll do the little gadget. <laughs> it's not spinning. It's uh, it's my gadget, okay? So, And I'll pick up Star Player, and we'll take the Brawl Ball set. Okay, guys. Um, set number three. So we've been doing pretty good. The gem grab was kind of a toss-up, I think. But, um... The Brawl Ball was pretty convincing, so we are, we knew they would like, EU always plays this comp. It's a, it's a good comp, don't get me wrong, but Bobby's gonna go around in auto aim, um, and we'll keep track of the Jackie, so I really want to get my super as fast as possible here, just so it's so much easier to keep track of the Jackie. I try saving Alec, uh, unfortunately he does go down, and Ian and Equawk are gonna trade shots, but I do get my super, which is all I want, so now we can just kind of like push up one side, because we have vision of them, and I want to stick with the Gene. <laughs> It's <laughs> just because it's nice healing. So you can see he's using Incendiary. Um, I really only use Incendiary in Heist. Just because the extra damage on the safe. Otherwise, I like prefer the extra shots for bounties. So I'm going to get a good shot there and just manage to take out Equawk. So that way we do trade and it's not just Bobby going down. Bobby was in a really tough spot there. So he did a good job getting him low enough to the point where I could just one-shot him. Um, so I know they're both on my side and... You know, I'm dodging his shots with the incendiary, like, I can see why he's using it. It's just kind of, like, annoying. Um, and I really want to get my super here so I can just, like, take out the grass on the left side, too, so they can start doing work. And I am going to get tapped. I should have jumped there. Um, in retrospect, I definitely should have jumped, but I wasn't expecting to get hit by the Piper and the Brock shot at the same time. So really good synergy from them. And that way, I do get my super, though. So it's not all bad because I picked up my super there, and we can just push up here. So me and Bobby are going to push the Jackie here. Really good. I think he should have gone back there. But he's going to get kind of like stuck out or caught out. Um, and we're going to just chip him down and Bobby's going to super him. So we got them pinched back really good. And I know he thinks I'm going to super. So I just flash it a bit and I get his jump out. And then I can just um, super where he lands for a much higher success rate. So Bobby's going to hit a really good pull on KC. I think he aimed that one. And then I'll finish him off. Um, Alex is going to take out Equawk on the other side. And we're looking really good right now. So we are going to take the first set of bounty, 15 to 9. All right, guys. This could be the final game. So it's 1-0, 2-0 in sets for us. So Bobby and I were having an argument on who gets to go more and who gets to... Like, it was either I'm Nanny or he Mortz. And because we trolled in... Um, I don't think Nanny's bad troll, like, I think I could have done this one, but I was gonna dodge and I think that shot, but I don't think, I think I would have done decent with Nanny. In the tick, though, it would have been really difficult, so Mort was definitely the right call, but I am looking to bring out that Nanny. So Alec almost goes down, Bobby's getting those gadgets out. He should really be on the tick, though, I don't know why he was, like, avoiding the tick this game, but, um, they are gonna super, and Alec does get a really good shot, and he'll kick out, um, Brock, so Alex and pretty with four stars. I almost get the tick there, but he does a good gadget and he'll manage to escape. Now Bobby is gonna go. This is a funny, I remember this play. <laughs> so he's just gonna jump and kill Bobby. Um, but I'm yelling to Bobby, like, yo, just go from beneath them. It's a tick and a Piper, like, Piper's almost out of gadgets, so just like baited out. So Tick did pick up Tick Head, which uh, will kill Bobby. It won't kill Bobby, but it'll push him back, and then the Piper can just auto aim him. So it's pretty much killing Bobby. So he's gonna throw it backwards, which is a mistake. I think he should have just held on to it, because me and Ali can just take it, and it locked onto our side. And it's super easy for us, it like runs straight out of us. I'll do it. Um, Alec is going to do a really good job. Bobby gets that last Piper Gadget out. Gets the super out and goes down again. <laughs> I feel like all our Mortis games are just like this. It's like Bobby like running it down into like the last like 10 seconds. And then he'll do something useful and like we'll win. Um, but right now, like I still have two jumps. So I don't want to take any damage because I do want to go for a kill on this pick. Hopefully I do tap him there. But he has that healing thing, so it heals so fast. Um, Bobby knows that the Piper's out of gadget. Okay, now she's out of gadgets, I guess. But he's gonna get a good kill. She was overextending, and then I'm just there to clean up. I got the Tick, and then the Brock, and uh, we will take game number two in the match. All right, guys, that is gonna be it for today. Um, we did end up coming in third. GG's to Code Magic. And thank you so much to the, the whole Code Magic organization for running the tournament. We love tournaments like this. EU versus NA, it's not ideal, but it's always a lot of fun. And I think you just can't take it too, too seriously um, just because of the delay. So it is unfortunate. One team had delay. I'm pretty sure they had delayed that last game. 
Um, but you know, they did play really well. They almost got that gem grab set. And uh, I'm not sure who wins at this point. It's IX and um, the other Code Magic in the finals. So they're playing the games right now. So it'll be interesting to watch those as long as I didn't miss the recording of the video. But uh, yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.